Hi there, welcome back to another episode. This is episode three, if you're counting along at home. Uh, today we will touch base on strictly one topic. It's going to be about Jeep owners or Jeeps in general. So let's get into it. So Jeeps are supposed to be these tough, rugged, off-roading vehicles that could take you through the mud and the muck. You could bang, bang, bang them around into a couple trees and not even worry about it. But they've become something else. And I don't know what to call the thing that they are. So I turned to the, to the internet and I looked up some stuff and found out that there's a guy that's a professional in... Uh, in such matters let's take a listen the jeep brand is when you've got a dealership a brand new franchise dealership and these are two of the rigs that they put up at the front of the dealership <laughs> that i saw as i was cruising through kind of taking a look at some different things um, this is probably the best way to designate a vehicle as a mall crawler no spare tire no 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 spare 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 t -t -t tire all right well you heard jeep nation say it that if you don't have a spare tire on the back of your Jeep, you got a mall crawler. You got a mall crawler on your hands. I just don't, I just don't understand why he had to go there though. Like he could have used any, any term in the book, but he wanted to use mall crawler. Cue the sad music. He could have used any term in the book, any term. He could have said anything else, but he used the term mall crawler knowing very well that there's millions of little babies all around this world right now that have no other place to crawl but in the mall and he's going to call them out on that sh I mean these babies they have they have nowhere else to crawl and he's just going to slander their name across the internet how dare you Mr. Jeep Jeep Wrang Wrangler Rick how dare you Jeep Nation this is another thing that Jeep owners just absolutely love they can get four doors on their rugged, tough, off-terrain vehicle now. And Chrysler has allowed Jeep or just done it themselves, but they've added two more doors to these rugged, tough, American icon vehicles. I mean, these things literally got us through World War II. I think. This would be like Apple getting rid of their the little round home button oh wait they did that yeah this is exactly like what apple did can you imagine what steve jobs would do if he was alive today sh 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 shit a google pixel 2 i bet steve jobs right oh my gosh if steve jobs was alive right now that was the only thing they had going for you if a second grader drew a rectangle on a piece of paper and drew a little circle at the bottom of it you knew it was an iphone now what are they gonna have just a rectangle that could be anything a coffin? A, I think that's about it. It can only be a coffin or that's it, or a rectangle. Look, I understand you have friends and maybe a family that you want to tote around and those extra two doors will come in handy. But there's other vehicles out there that are more economically full of fuel efficient. They have a better ride. You won't look like a complete jabroni when you're, when you're uh, driving. Oh, but I, I have my Jeep for fun. It's a it's a fun car. Okay, you know what? Let's take a look at this family. They found a fun car. Hell, it even has a Jeep front end on it, it looks like. It is. Oh, but wait, we can't get this one because if you notice, there's no spare tire. And remember, Wrangler Rick told us there's no spare tire. You got a mall crawler. But not all is lost. Turns out you can do some pretty cool things in a Jeep. Check out this guy for example. We got a Jeep. Check. We have a spare tire. This assures that we are not, and dare I say it again, mall crawling. Check. And a concrete barrier that I can climb. Check. Alright, let's uh, climb this barrier and get a cool, get a cool photo. Oh, come on. Didn't you see our boys earlier? 
You got to lose the top on that thing. You got to throw on a ball cap, put some jeans on, and you got to e-brake around the field. Okay, okay. I'll pump the brakes a little bit. I know I'm poking fun at Jeep owners and it's probably not coming off very sensitive. But at least it's not like in Arizona where people just want to use your Jeep as a jungle gym. And when you get upset about it, they call you attempted murderer. What's that all about? But I tell you what, good thing this guy had the spare tire on the back. I mean, as soon as the cop saw that, he knew this guy's legit. He's not maw crawling. He's, he's doing okay. Move along, sir. By the way, Vic say, nice title. Very clickbaity, and it, I can't imagine how people would be upset when they clicked on this video because they, they obviously see all the people getting plowed over by this jeep all right i think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode um i went a little different i talked about one topic in specific and i will probably do the same uh moving forward hope you guys stick along for the ride and if you're new here and you liked what you watched you know leave a like uh subscribe if you don't mind and stay tuned peace